So I'm wondering uh, how many, if any of you, are working on AutoZar components at the moment? Okay, okay, a few of you, good. And how many of you are involved in programming C++ or managing a C++ project? Okay, pretty much the same, the same people who put their hands up for the autos are. Okay, good. So I don't need to tell any of you how important software development has become to the automobile industry with something like 90% of all vehicle innovations now driven by electronics and software and about 40% of the total development cost of a vehicle is now made up of software development. So with all the new electronic systems for safety, for driver comfort, for uh, driver assistance systems, it's becoming hugely important. It's becoming more and more of a challenge for you guys to manage the complexity and the interactions between all these different electronic control systems in a vehicle. So that's why the autos are organization was formed. I think it was about 15 years ago now when it all kicked off, when these um, tier one manufacturers got together as the core partners of the Autozar group um, to define standard open architectures for automotive electronic control units. And now there are over 180 <coughs> members in the Autozar consortium uh, comprised not just of these core members, but also of tier one suppliers, tool vendors, and um, other partners, such as PRQA, uh, which is the only static analysis vendor to become a Autozar development partner. So the first kind of standardized platform that Autozar produced was something called the Classic Platform. And the classic platform was really to address systems that are based on low power microcontrollers, 8 to 16 bit microcontrollers, um, to address real time safety critical functionality, so highly deterministic uh, functionality within a vehicle. But of course, times are moving on. We now have much more high powered microprocessors, 32 bit, 64 bit microprocessors connected together in a vehicle. Uh, we have parallelization, parallel processing, and we have high bandwidth communications within vehicles. And this is what's really driven the production of what Autozar calls its adaptive platform. Um, the classic platform uh, was uh, developed on the assumption that most of the software components would be written in C, C++ or Java. However, it turned out that most of the components that were developed were developed in C. It's not a, a language specific architecture, but um, uh, C is the predominant language used within the auto industry. Now, uh, the adaptive platform, um, Autozar has defined the APIs using the C++ language, which kind of gives a signal that the Autozar core partners recognize that C++ is really gaining traction in the industry and is likely to be the kind of de facto programming language moving forward, which is very interesting. Now we know that C and C++ um, they're very powerful languages. They afford a lot of flexibility to the developer uh, and, and key advantages that they allow you to get really close to the hardware, the bare metal hardware. Um, but we also know they also have drawbacks. So you can write a C or a C++ program with unspecified, undefined behavior. And you can also write a program that will behave differently on different platforms when compiled with a different compiler. Uh, and even the most experienced C and C++ developers can write code that has problems with it, such as the, the problems that Jack's just been describing. <coughs> so Autozar 
invited PRQA to join as a development partner to lend its experience and expertise of 30 years of developing high quality management tools such as static analyzers to lend that expertise to the development of a new coding guideline for using modern C++. And it's called the Guidelines for the Use of C++ 14 Language in Critical and Safety Related Systems. Obviously it relates to the ISO standard for C++ 14. And it takes together the, it pulls together the best parts of some existing standards. It has something like 340 odd rules of which about 150 are taken from the well-established MISRA C++ 2008 standard and then about another 130 are taken from other coding standards. Um, a lot of them are actually taken from the high integrity C++ standard which was uh, released by PRQA um, about five years ago, the last version. So it combines existing knowledge and expertise with these existing standards in the MISRA standard. And it's actually been written as an extension to the MISRA C++ standard. So it's possible to um, look at AutoZAR as a superset of MISRA C++ that also takes into consideration developments in the language developments in compiler technology, developments in development process methodologies and test tools in order to come up with uh, guidelines that are really relevant for the new era of autonomous vehicle software development and um, high bandwidth communications both in the vehicle and with uh, infrastructure. So why not just use MISRA C++ 2008, well, that was written for the ISO C++ 03 standard, which is now over 14 years old. And of course, the language has evolved since then. Compilers have improved, tools have improved. ISO 26262, the functional safety standard, hadn't been introduced um, when the C++ 03 language was, was introduced. Um, and of course, our body of knowledge in terms of the, the lessons that we've learned from some of the uh, disasters, again referring back to Jack's presentation, has expanded. And as Jack said, we all need to, to learn from these lessons and incorporate them into our practices moving forward. Part of the AutoZAR philosophy is to validate the standardization work in parallel with the development of the standard. And in order to do this, AutoZAR has created something that it's called its Adaptive Platform Demonstrator Source Code, which is accessible to AutoZAR members. But PRQA has provided AutoZAR with its QAC++ tool in order to validate the Adaptive Platform Demonstrator Source Code. So we're the only static analysis vendor that is working with AutoZAR in order to um, help it to produce clean code. And also, in turn, we're learning from that validation process and incorporating the lessons that we're learning into our tool. So we have the de facto static analyzer looking at AutoZAR code for um, the adaptive platform standard. And that QAC++ static analyzer is the core of our complete code quality management solution. So combined with uh, a product of ours called QA Verify, you can ensure that all your development team is coding to exactly the same guidelines, using exactly the same configurations, and make sure that everything is done consistently throughout your local team or even teams that are working remotely with each other. So you can find bugs, you can apply the AutoZAR standard, and you can then measure the quality of your code over the lifetime of your development project. Okay, thank you.